Folks, how are we doing? Welcome to Good Works Tractors. Today we are going to do an overview of the UTVs, the ATVs, the stuff that we have here around the homestead. We have a special guest today, my son Luke here with us. He's going to run the show. So Luke, let's get it going. Hi. I don't know what to say. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what you mean. <laughs> we'll say something like, hey guys. Okay. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> okay. That's Anyway, so we've got ATVs, UTVs from big to small around here, stuff for the kids, stuff for me, uh, stuff for the farm, and I just thought it'd be a good time. You know, I'm, I'm getting more into attachments, you know, not just the tractor stuff, but more stuff for the UTVs and the ATVs as well, and, and I figured I'd kind of give you, well, we'd both give you our take on what we have here, and there's one machine we don't have here. Some of you might know what that is, and that's the John Deere Gator, and uh, still have it. It's out at the other property over in Richland, and that's where it's gonna live for a little while longer until we get that offloaded eventually. So I'll give you my thoughts comparing that Gator to these North Stars as well, but uh, let's get started here. And Luke, which one do you wanna start with? Start with uh, Camo Polaris. The Camo, the yeah. Camo Ranger? Okay. Yeah. This one's the coolest one? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Definitely. All right guys, so this one is pretty sweet. I actually bought this one, a little bit of backstory. I'm not gonna end up having both of these North Stars. Um, I bought this one because the other one over there was not supposed to be available for another, well, until the fall, until this October. And I had ordered it last August. So it was supposed to take like 12, or no, 14, 15 months, something like that to get. I was tired of waiting. So I found this one, only had 25 hours on it uh, up in Wisconsin and bought it. And then like three weeks later, mine was magically ready. So anyways, Luke, what makes this one so cool? Um, you fit. I think six people in there. Yeah. Um, got, three in the front, three in the back. Yeah, I got uh, cup holders. Um, it's bigger. You can go faster with it, and it's camo. Yeah, I know. So it's good for hunting and stuff like that. Yeah, the camo is pretty sweet. You know, I, I debated on getting camo or not on the one that I ordered over there, and I decided not to. It was a bit of an upcharge to get the camo, but in hindsight, I, I'm kind of wishing I would have done so. So is that the reason you like this one more than... More than the other Ranger? Yeah, Is because it? it's just straight black and um, nothing really to it besides it's straight black. So. Yeah, so there's not a whole <laughs> lot of differences between these two. This is a 2021. This is a 2022, all right? So these are pretty much set up um, how they were ordered from the factory. You can see there's a heavier duty uh, bumper on the front and the back. I had these LED lights added on to um, one of those running guards or something along the side that I had added on. Uh, chainsaw holder on this one, but this one's got mirrors. Somehow I, I didn't add mirrors. I, I found how much I appreciate having mirrors on one of these things. Um, it makes a big difference when you're backing up. And so these things are outfitted with cameras, uh, front and back. The, the rear camera is kind of in a weird location. We'll show you a video of that, but it's underneath the bed, kind of like tucked back behind the bumper. So it's an obstructive view. It's not completely um, visible. And you do have a camera up front as well. You can see this bar kind of blocks off some visibility on the camera. That one's completely wide open. But overall, they're essentially the same thing. These are Ranger 1000s, the HVAC cab on the North Star, so you have air conditioning and heat. It does take a little bit on those hot days for that AC to really get cranking. Haven't had a chance to use either one of these in the cold. Well, that's not true. I did have a chance to use this guy in the cold here, um, and that heat worked really well. I'm trying to remember. I think that heat got going pretty quick on the Gator. Um, and if you want a full in-depth review on that John Deere Gator, we had an 865R. I think it's a model, so it's a diesel version of it. And that thing is just, just so slow. It's like a slug, just driving it around. And that's right out of the gate. The, the big thing that I notice here is how responsive, how, how quick, how fast it is. Uh, still a very comfortable ride, just like the Gator was as well. But I am so happy to have a Ranger now. And again, not keeping both of these. I gotta, I gotta offload one of them. Okay, so a few notes on the North Star Ranger. All right, so right there. Not a huge fan of the doors. I wish they were just like a traditional door that swung open from the front. Um, it's maybe a little cramped. Chris wanted to make sure I mentioned that. We're both 6'3". I'm a little bit taller than he is. Not true. Um, but uh, a little cramped. I don't, does this thing go back any further? Oh yeah, okay. So this is back as far as it can go. It can't go back any further with the roll cage. Um, it's, it's, it's not bad when you're driving it. I don't think it's bad when you're driving. I think just getting in and out is kind of restrictive. You gotta be careful. It's not, you can't like hop, you know, if you had to dive out because it was gonna go off a cliff, 
you might go off the cliff with it. But the last thing I want to mention is on the dump bed. I ordered this thing with every option I thought I could get. Obviously I missed the mirror somewhere along the way. And I don't know if a power dump was an option or not. I had the power dump on my Gator and thought that that would be really awesome. But this thing, it dumps really easy. I think we showed you, it took some video of it. Um, but you have to get out anyways to open the tailgate to dump anything out. So even on the Gator that I have, when I can raise the whole thing up from, from inside the cab, I still have to physically get out of the, the truck, open the tailgate, you know, and then reverse the process and go back in there and I can push the button. So it's super easy to do with just this lever right here. Not a big deal for me. It is nice to be one less thing that goes wrong without really feeling like it's any kind of an inconvenience. All right, Luke, what's next? Uh, did we already do these two? Is that, yeah? Yeah. All right. Were you not paying attention? Well, I, I know, but I- This is what it's like in school too, guys. No, I'm, I'm kidding. He's a good student. Sometimes. Very good student. Sometimes. Um, well, yeah. Okay, let's do this one next then. Okay. Why do you want to do this one? Just to go in order. To go in order. All right. All right. So what do you like about this one? Two seats. They're very comfortable seats as well. It is. Uh, back storage, I think, right? This is storage. Yeah, storage yep. in there. Um, protected right here. Got the hand guards on there. Yep, those yeah. are a nice option. The, whatever this is called. The display. This, the display. Yep. And it can go like 60 miles an hour. So. It's fast. It's really yeah. quick. So, so what don't you like about it? Um, that you got to be 16 to drive it. Yeah. Yeah, it's too big for you, huh? Yeah, I guess yeah. so. So yeah. this one is, on a nice day out, this is my favorite machine to drive. I like driving it more than I like the Ranger. You can't haul anything with you is really the downside, but if I just kind of want to go check something out at a property in a location, it's so easy just to hop on here and get where you're going. And I mean, that's the same for any ATV, right? But this thing is very, very comfortable. It's like it's got a comfort ride or something. It's just super, super comfortable and stable to ride around handles very well a ton of power it's a 570 um, but even for a two up a little bit longer wheelbase on there it, it just handles really good i don't really have anything bad to say about it we've had this machine and the the rest of them here for about a year or so um, and had a decent amount of put of time we've done the the first uh, oil changes the first services on all of them as well this is the only can-am in the whole outfit the rest of them are all polaris but if i were knocking anything about it i guess i would say this is like any atv you just don't have a lot of storage on here you got this rack on the back um, I could put some boxes on here if I wanted to, but given the fact that I'm primarily going to use a Ranger when I need to haul something around, that's not too big of a deal. You can still add on a hitch, put on a trailer. We've got the Ultra Hack trailers that are a really good fit behind here too. And the two-up is a really nice option if you want to haul somebody else around with you. A nice, comfortable, safe way to do so. One thing I didn't mention on the Can-Am is that, and, and it's typical for every ATV I feel like, is that it gets really hot uh, right, <laughs> right near the lower legs area. But, um, that is something that seems to happen pretty quickly on this Can-Am and, and you find yourself wanting to push your feet out as far as possible to get away from there. Um, not the end of the world, but just an observation. I mean, that's, if I was going to knock anything on this ride, that could be the only thing I could say is if there is a way to cool that down. I absolutely love this machine. It's amazing. And I do think it's funny. I probably should have noticed this warning sticker before. Um, but it says, get familiar with this ATV. It may exceed the performance of other ATVs you may have ridden in the past. Inexperienced riders may overlook risks and be surprised by the specific behavior of this ATV in any terrain condition. <laughs> this thing is like, it's just amazing. So, but it is very high power. It's a 570, right? It's not like it's an 850 or a thousand CC, but it is, it is very powerful. Um, I've had Polaris Sportsman's before, one ups and two ups and uh, 500s and 570s. And this thing feels, from memory like it just smokes them all right luke we got a couple left what do you, what do you want to do um let's go and do this one okay we're right doing here. the ranger 150. all right so now this one let's see this one has been in the shop a decent amount this year yep. um it had an issue with the over the winter you know in the spring the battery well i should say in the winter the battery died in the spring went to charge it up and and everything else charged up just fine and, and fired up and this one would not um, and it was due for a service anyway, so we took it in and, and told them what was happening. And, you know, they brought it back a week later, whatever it was, and it worked good for about a day and then died in the middle of a field? Yeah, it did. Yeah. yeah. And you guys, you guys couldn't get it started up, right? It just, yeah. it wouldn't even try? No, didn't it die um, over back by the power box right there? Oh, yeah, And then you did. had to haul it back with yeah. um, that, yeah. 
Yeah, it did. Yeah. It did. Yeah. So it died way up there, and we hauled it back here. And so then we had to take it back in again. And uh, after a couple more weeks of waiting in queue for some reason in their service department, they just told us it was a bad battery. And I don't know why they didn't get caught the first time, but we got it back with a new battery in it. A while after. Yeah. Like two months or something. It took a long time to get it back. It was kind of frustrating, but it's been working well ever since then. Yep. yep. But it does have a couple of issues though, right? Yeah. Brakes sometimes don't work. Yeah, Luke says, I haven't experienced it riding around with him, but Luke says that the brakes don't Sometimes. work consistently uh, like they should. Oh, in, yeah. in fact, I think earlier, uh, didn't you kind of coast into the fence there? No, I didn't crash. No. <laughs> it's just a bump. Yeah, just a it's just bump. a bump. But then sometimes, I've had it happen to me too, you put it in forward or reverse, you know, if you're backing up and then going forward, it will yeah. grind as it gets into gear. And it's done that from the very beginning, brought it up. It's a disturbing noise too. Yeah, it is. It, it, it seems like it's just grinding the whole thing apart. Mm -hmm. um, I, I can't personally give this thing a glowing review. Although Luke, what do you, what do you think about this? What do you, how do you feel about this? I give it a 10. A 10 out of 10? Yeah. Yeah, what do you think your sister would give this, this one? 10 out of 10, cause she steals it every day and <laughs> takes it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah so. Uh, the kids absolutely love this one, and we started out getting twin 110s over there for the kids, and kind of realized Luke had outgrown that one pretty quick, and so we upgraded this one and decided we we're going to hang on to that one at that point just for the friends and yeah. things that were coming over. We'd have an extra machine for them to use, um, but now Gabrielle tries to gravitate towards this one as well whenever she has a chance, and kind of thinking about trading those both in and potentially getting another one of these Ranger 150s uh, if we can do so and find a get a reasonable deal out of it. But overall, I, me as a parent, I feel like this is safer with a roll cage on here with the seat belts, um, with these, you know, these... Uh, Doors, almost. Yeah, these closures, you know, just yeah. kind of keeping the hands and the feet inside while they're riding around. It, it It's wider, right? Everything about it just feels more stable and safe and secure to me versus one of those four wheelers. Did, did yeah. you have a little, did you have a little accident yeah, uh, they're trying to make it sound like I'm a bad driver. I'm not making it sound like that at all. No, I'm just, I'm just saying, but these can kind of get scary, can't they, yeah. going around a turn? so I did a barrel roll with this, and it was um, it was not the best experience, but this thing, you wear it, and if you, if it, um, if you crash or anything, you pull it off, it kills the machine. That was good I had that on, otherwise it probably would have grinded me up. So but, did that yeah. work? Yeah, it did. Yeah. yeah. So you had you had the right safety stuff on. You had a helmet on and all that. You gotta get this back. And you were in an open field, but he was going around a turn. They were just kind of doing laps around the field at our other property yep. uh, last year. Took and a turn uh, just, without too fast, and yep. then barrel rolled. Yeah. So. Did 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 Dad tell you? After. You any, after oh, after. Yes. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, wow. Yep. Mm, well, yep, yep, yep. Something else. Something else mm -hmm. there. All right. You have anything else to say about this? Well, oh, we got. We just got. So we got this one last year. And it just came in. We ordered a um, a roof and windshield. a windshield for it. Literally just came in yesterday or the day before. Yeah, yeah, yesterday. Like the last day or two. So yeah. we're gonna get those put on. I think that's gonna make it a lot nicer. Um, just keep the sun off here in the summertime, and then even in the fall and the spring and winter when it's decent enough, just to keep the wind out of you and keep some of the chill off. I think will make a big difference. So we're gonna add those on and bolt them on. But those things took like nine months or something to yeah. come in. A really long time. About a year. Uh, we also just washed these off, uh, washed all four of these machines off. We used one of those big foam cannon things, and that was pretty easy to do, and the kids scrubbed them down. And, uh, so they're, they're looking pretty good overall right now, but I guess these 110s are the last couple, huh? We got to say what I like about this. Oh, oh, oh. we got we to gotta say what Luke likes about this. Okay, what do you like about this, Luke? Um, that you fit two people, got cup holder for whatever reason, just uh, like you put your bullets in here or something, another cup holder. Um, display is good. I like that. Um, you got your, I like driving this because it feels like you're driving a car. Yeah. And then the back, you can put like a, whatever you kill, like a squirrels or deer or coyote or raccoon in the back. And that's just nice to have compared to, you know, those don't have anything really yeah. to store anything. But yeah, so that's why I like it. Well, yeah, because, I mean, a lot of times you want to carry something around with you, right? Yeah. You can so put you your gun back here, too. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you can put it all back there. We put an air compressor back there the other day. Yeah. So. Almost um, dropped it about four times, but... 
got his windshield and his roof installed. Took about an hour and a half on the little back window that's back there. All of the pre-drilled holes, you know, and, and the glass uh, were all too small for the hardware to go through. So I had to come back through and drill all those out. Um, but this is what we were waiting for us for like nine months to get um, from Polaris. So finally got that and installed. I think it is really nice, especially for that bad weather and, and colder days, kind of keep some of that wind off of you. And you can see how this, this flap is on the outside of the roll bar and everything's on the outside of the roll bar and it looks like it kind of sticks out. And I thought about putting it on the inside of the roll bar, but then anything that runs off would go kind of inside to the cab and, and this way it all runs down onto the, uh, onto the bed and then hopefully out of the, out of the Ranger. But I don't know, it looks a little wonky. Uh, however, I think this is the right way without having a picture. And so then the throttle and the braking systems are obviously different as well. Um, you got the handbrakes over here and then a, a thumb control for the throttle versus just a side-by-side, -side, you know, a, a, a foot pedal for the brake and the throttle over here on the Ranger. And then a steering wheel, right? An actual steering wheel versus the handles and uh, two different setups there. And I know that my daughter uh, oftentimes set her thumb wore out just pushing that throttle down on here and a lot easier just to push the foot pedal you know, not that that's right or wrong, but just observations as a parent on uh, what I, the kind of feedback that I get from my kids. And I think that's one of the other reasons uh, they find this more enjoyable too, is it's a little bit more like a car, you know, or, or a truck or something. And so uh, maybe they feel a bit more grown up in it as well, but uh, just another observation for you. Okay, so we're on to the 110s, huh? Yep. These are the last ones. These are the twins, bought these at the same time. Yep. So tell us your thoughts on these, Luke. Um, they're fun when you, like, just like that one, when you just want to go somewhere and you don't want to have to start up a whole thing, you know? Yeah. Um, you can just get there nice and easy. And, uh, yeah, and then I like it. It's got a horn I can honk at my sister whenever I want to. Um, it's do you, cool. The do cool, you have any issues grinding when you're going to forward I reverse? Don't, no. I don't. Okay. Yeah, that's a, it's, like, easier to shift gears in this one. Yeah. Then it is that one. Yeah. Um, parking brakes easier to put on. Uh, um, now these are these are fuel oh, injected, so yeah, front and rear brakes too. Yeah, front and rear brakes on nice. there. I like that. Yep. Now these are only two wheel drive. Have you got it stuck in the mud at all? No. 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 Yeah, not bad. I've always been able to go up like the steepest hills too. That's fine. Okay. I don't have a problem with that. And it's nice. So you can just like. Um, with that, you know, it's bigger and you got to get it, you got to go through bigger spaces. You can just kind of go through tighter spaces with this as well. That's true. And yeah. And yeah, you got some safety protocols on here too, this thing. And then, yeah, so I like it. Okay. What don't you like about it? That the flags fall off every time. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, I don't know. I don't really dislike a lot about it. Yeah. I mean, it has not a lot of storage, as, yeah, but... But it's pretty fun to ride. Otherwise, it's fine, yeah. It's Is just, it hard to steer? No. No? No. It's, yeah. Do they ever not start? No. I mean, maybe one time, right? Maybe, maybe when the battery's dead or something? Yeah, when the battery's dead, but otherwise than that, they're good. Come with two keys, stuff like that. Yep. It's good. So when we first got these, I think your sisters had it overheated, right? The overheat light came on. Is that this light right here? Yeah. Yeah, that comes on all the time, so I think that's fine. Like, I don't, honestly, like, if I were to start it up right now, it'd probably come on. Well, I think they come on in the beginning, but they're not supposed to stay on all the time. Yeah. So. I don't know. Did you, did we bring it in the shop for, for that? Or no? no, we didn't. We called, uh, called the service department, and um, what did they say? That was last year. I, they told us something to do, a procedure, and maybe it was just to monitor it and, and, uh, and see if it stayed on or how long it stayed on or whatever it was. But I feel like it, the issue resolved itself. Um, and it was only an issue on one of them. I, I believe, I believe this one. Um, but overall that was really the only issue of any significance that was on there. Batteries have been fine. Um, they're two wheel drive, so they're not four wheel drive. That would be a potential downside in some situations, but we haven't had any issues with that. Didn't really ride them around in the winter at all because it was so cold. Yeah, it was freezing, yeah. But we've had friends on here, we've had cousins on here. Yep. These both came with, actually, I think, let's see, this one, this one, and this one all came with helmets, okay? So a helmet, just did like these, this. Did these come with helmets? You sure? Yeah, these, these are the helmets that came with oh, it. Look, okay. they match. Okay. 
So oh, yeah. these helmets came with them right here, which is really nice. I think this came with two helmets, if I, if I recall yep. correctly. Yep. Um, so that's really good. So safety right out of the gate there. But overall, I think we've been pretty impressed with our Polaris experience. The Can-Am has been amazing. Uh, this Ranger, again, is still, to me, the verdict is still out. It just doesn't, it hasn't been, it hasn't been glitch free in the first year by any stretch of the imagination. Um, one thing that's great is that these are all EFI. So they're all fuel injected. There's no carbs uh, that, you're, that you're choking or anything else like that. So that makes it a lot easier uh, for the kids firing them up. And I think just for starting issues, we used to have a 50, a Polaris 50 that was a long time ago. Oh, and that wow. one was used and had a lot of issues with the carb on there gumming up and, and, and firing and staying running. Uh, but these have been running like a champ. And so these are all stock setups. Again, we don't have anything else extra on there, uh, but kind of wanted to just give you our, our year in review, so to speak, you know, less time on these guys here, but did the same thing with the Gator. I, I like a lot of John Deere products, but the Gator's just not one of them. Um, and I think for us, we're probably sticking with Polaris and, and probably that Can-Am too from here on out. So Luke, <laughs> does this one, do these go fast enough for you? I mean, yeah, kind of. That yeah. doesn't go fast enough for me. Like, this, this doesn't go fast enough for you either? No. Well, why do you need to go faster? Well, because going Where are you trying faster to get to? feels more fun. Going faster feels more fun. It's more dangerous though, huh? Yeah. No. No? Not when you're in like this. Like it's, I mean, I mean, yeah. I, but you got like a steering wheel, you got the roll cage and stuff. That's, you know. Yeah. I've never feel like, I've never felt like when I'm even, like I sometimes do sharp turns on this, but I never, like there's never like a tire that comes off the ground or anything like that. It's always yeah. really stable. Good. So. Good. Yeah. Well, that's real world folks. That's uh, just guys that are using it. We're not selling these things at all. So I just kind of want to give you the feedback on, on our experience to date. We don't have years on these by any means, but uh, for the newer Polaris products, if you're considering them, you know, within the last year or two, this is what you're looking at. And that's kind of what we've been through. I do have one hard question for you though, Luke. Okay. If you had to make a decision. Oh, which one's my favorite? No. Oh, okay. Would you keep the Polaris Ranger? Do you have more fun with that? Or do you have more fun with the pellet gun? You can only keep one. Pellet which gun. one are you keeping? Pellet gun. Pellet gun, just yeah. like that. Didn't you have to think about it? Yeah. Woo. All right, there you go. So hopefully you enjoyed this. You got a good look at these machines and kind of get a better feel of what they're all about, even just visually seeing them. It's it's a pain, especially this day and age, to to try to know what you're looking at and even just comparing it to human size, right? <laughs> how big something is, how small something is. And you can see the stock pictures that are on websites, but it's good to see what these look like. And, and, and well, I guess not first person, <laughs> but first person through through the video camera from somebody that actually has it. And and uh, for me, when, I, when I've been shopping the last couple of years, it's, you can't go see these on dealer lots. And hopefully that changes and gets back to normal. But uh, it would have been helpful for us, so I felt like maybe it's helpful for some other uh, folks, some other families out there that are in the market too. And again, we are going to do, and we're carrying some attachments that work with these UTVs and ATVs, the trailers and uh, Rammy snow blowers and flail mowers and finish mowers. And we have a Northwoods pull type box blade with an electric actuator to raise and lower. And we have some other stuff in the works too. So we're gonna start getting decked out and and having then different offerings for all this stuff. And we'll show videos on that as well, along with everything that we do for tractors and skid steers. So if you're in the market, go ahead and check it out at goodworkstractors.com. And if you wanna see more videos like this one, hit that subscribe button right down below. Luke and I wanna thank you for stopping by and until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Can, I, can I be in other videos then? Yeah. I feel kinda of famous. Yeah. Oh, you do, huh? Yeah. Just like that? Yeah. This one hasn't even aired yet.